Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to carry on. Um, hopefully you've realised that we've uh, have an upgrade of the whiteboard. Special purchase. So uh, today we're going to look at multiplicative reasoning, which is unit 11. So we finished unit 10, on to unit 11. Um, and the first one we're going to look at is growth and decay. So if you see me looking down quite a bit, it's just quite a few things I need to remember to tell you in this uh, particular session. So first thing you need to do is think about um, multipliers. Okay, so if they said um, increase a number, whatever it is, by say 30%, okay, increase a number by 30%, what you need to think about is what is 30% as a decimal? So 30% is the same as 30 out of 100, which is the same as 0 0.3. So if you want to increase a number by 30%, to increase, then you, you need to be up multiplying by a number which is bigger than one. Okay, because you think if you multiply by something like a half, then it actually gets smaller, halves it. So increasing by a number, if we multiply something by one, that means it stays the same. So if we want to increase something by 30%, we need to multiply by something bigger than one, so we multiply by 1.3, okay? One keeps it the same, 0.3 comes from our 30%. Similarly, if we change that to increase a number by, say, 15%, still using my sock at the moment, although I've got rubber and it's magnetic, look at that, I love that. Increase by 15%, you'd multiply by 1.15. One to be careful of, if it's something like increase by 3%, remember that 3% is 0 0.03, so it's times by 1.03. Alternatively, if it wasn't increase, it could be the opposite, which would be decrease a number by 3%. Now, we know that decrease it, uh, we know that 3% is 0 0.03, but this time, if we want something to get smaller, then we need to multiply by a number less than 1. So, less than 1, what we do is we do 1 minus the 0 0.03, which equals 0 point, <coughs> excuse me, 0.97. So, you'd want to decrease a number by 3%, you times by 0.97. We do another one of those. If we were to decrease a number by 28%, just plucking numbers out of my head here, 28%, we know that 28% is 0 0.28. So you do 1 minus 0 0.28, which is 0 0.72. So you'd multiply by 0 0.72, whatever that number is. Alright? Okay, so let's have a look um, at some questions where we need to apply this all right so we've got to find an amount after repeated percentage change so let's pretend um i'm going to show you some questions here question seven is so tristan buys a flat for thirty-five thousand pounds obviously not anywhere local to us because you won't get flat for thirty-five thousand pounds um, he buys it for in the first year. The value of the flat increases. So the value of the flat is increases in the first year um, by twelve percent. Oh, lucky Tristan. So, um, year one, there's an increase by twelve percent. Year two. Oh, it doesn't have such a good second year. The value of the flat decreases by 3%. Okay, so all we need to do is work out the value of the flat after two years. So think about these numbers. So it's increasing by 12%. So that means times by 1.12. Hopefully you can see that okay up there. And decreasing by 3% means you need to multiply by 0 0.97. So you can do this in one go. You can do 35,000 times by 1.12, that'll give you the amount after year one. If you want to, you can write that number down. 
And then when you get that answer, you're then going to need to multiply it by 0 0.97. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly down the calculator, because surprisingly, I can't do that in my head. Times by 1.12 times by 0 0.97 gives you an answer of £38,024. And what you, the question could also then say might be, how much profit has he made? And the way you'd do that is you'd look at this number here, and this is where he started from, and you'd do 38,024, take away 35,000, gives you 3,024 pounds profit or increase, okay? Hopefully that makes sense for that one. Okay, I'm gonna move on to another question. Oh, I nearly forgot something. Hashtag love maths. Honestly, you must be missing it. It's... So just rub all this out. Heating's on again as well, so I'm getting a bit hot, but never mind. So the next question I want to look at is question eight. So Abby buys a motorbike. She buys a motorbike for eight thousand two hundred pounds. So purchase price eight thousand two hundred. In the first year, it depreciates. So year one. It goes down, depreciates by 25%. Might just swap pens. Year two, it depreciates by 12%. Sorry, I'm having to read on that. Depreciates by 12%. What you need to do is work out the value of the motorbike at the end of the two years. So again, depreciates by 25%, so that's 0 0.25. So 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. That's the first calculation. 8,200 times by 0 0.75. And then it drops by 12%. So that's 0 0.12. 1 take away 0 0.12 is 0 0.88. So you times it by 0 0.88, and you can work it out. So again, you can do it on the calculator. 8,300 times by 0 0.75 times by 0 0.88, 5,412 pounds. Lovely, and again, you can work out how much you've lost by doing 8,200 take away 5,412. Probably using the word loss isn't right there because obviously she's been using it for a couple of years and hopefully she'll be enjoying it. So, but the, the amount that is gone down is two thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight pounds of value. All right. Next one. What's a magician's favourite cheese? I know I've told you this one. It's my favourite joke. What's a magician's favourite cheese? Ta da! Okay, uh, question 10. Now, £3,500 is invested. So you've got £3,500, lucky you. It's rattling a bit there, isn't it? And is invested into a bank account with an interest rate of 4.1% per annum. 4.1% per annum. So per annum just means per year. So just per year that means. Um, and it was in there for five years. How much? Uh, work out the total amount in the account after five years. So what you're going to do is you're going to think, what is that as a decimal? Now, as soon as you put 0.1, people get a little bit maybe confused about that. But all you need to do is move the numbers to two places to the right. So 0. Point zero, if it was 4%, it would be that. So 4.1 is that, 0 0.041. But it's an investment and it's interest. The fact that it says interest, which I need, probably need to write up there, means it's generally getting bigger, okay? So 3,500 is what your starting point. It's increasing by 4.1%, so that means that will be making it smaller, so we need to have it as 1.041. Remember, the 1 means it stays the same. 
1.041 means it's going to increase by 4.1%, and then you can do that times by 1.041. That'll be the end of the first year. You can then do it again. 1.041, that'll get the end of the second year. Third year, fourth year, fifth year. You just keep writing it, okay? But hopefully you remember that you don't need to keep writing that repeated multiplication. And what we can do is we can go up to the power up here. Okay, it's for five years. So we do it put to the power five. So 3,500 times by 1.041 to the power of five. And that gives you £4,278.797 and, and so on. It's, so we need to think about how we round this up. So it's money, so probably two decimal places, seven rounds of nine. So let's go with four, two, seven, eight pounds, 80. Okay, uh, we'll do one more question. Let me just find one more question that we want to look at. Let's drop that out. Uh, Fidel, Fidel, good name, invested 4,200 in a savings account. 4,200 in a savings account. He's paid 3.25% interest per annum. How many years before he has a 4,928 <coughs> pounds 33? Okay, so this time we're looking for how many years? How many years? So it's got this amount. So all you're going to do is you're going to write that into a decimal. So 4,200 and you've got 1.0325. Write that as that. Okay, and all I'll do is I'll put, we'll start working it out. So I'd write 4,200 into my calculator. Good little tip here actually. Write 4,200 into your calculator and then press equals, okay? So the reason that does, it then stores it as your answer on your calculator. So 4,200, press equals. Then on your calculator, you can write ants times 1.0325. Ants times by 1.0325. And then you can start pressing it. So for the first one, after year one, it's 4336.5. You can then just press equals again. It's already stored on the calculator. 4477.436 and so on. It's obviously not the right one anyway. 4622.9529. I'm not going to write that down. 47. So I'm going to write space here. 4928 is the next one. So we can then work it out. That's one, two, three, four, five years. Okay, so little tip. I said put 4,200 in the calculator, press equals, that stores it as your answer. You don't have to keep rewriting the number in each time then. All right. Okay, guys, um, I think that should be enough to help you out with that. Um, any questions, obviously, let me know. Um, have a great day. Keep it real. Rock on. Peace out. Stay safe. Blop, blop, blop. Skitty cat, cat. Boom. Hashtag love maths.